Pope Benedict, Spanish young people, and youth ministers gave thanks this week for the last World Youth Day. But they also discussed some of the problems we saw in Madrid before they went on to study plans for the next World Youth Day set for Rio de Janeiro. Whatever went terribly wrong in the previous World Youth Day will be the first thing really corrected in the upcoming World Youth Day. So I suspect that the vigil and the closing mass will be awesome. Everybody will get in, there'll be plenty of space, and it will run like clockwork. There are gonna be inconveniences, but if there are really major things that upset the apple cart, that does take away from the pastoral. I expected a lot of complaining about not getting into the vigil. There really wasn't that much. People just said, well, it's World Youth Day. Rio is a beautiful city. I mean, it has a lot to offer, from the beaches to the city itself. The church is alive, it's energized, it's active, it's vibrant, and I think that's a great thing for our young U.S. folks to see because they themselves are active and vibrant, but they're probably in a lot of parishes that aren't. They are aware that they are part of a big world. I mean, we are a global society, so I think it's very important that we make sure they know that we're also a universal church. So when they go, all of a sudden it's, wow, there are all these young people from across the world that believe as I do. And regardless of where I'm worshiping, if I don't know the language, it doesn't matter, I know the symbols. So if the person next to me doesn't know the language, he or she also knows the symbols, and that's a binding thing for us. In 2013, World Youth Day heads back to the developing world. They're not gonna miss the poverty of Rio. It was an easy thing to miss coming in from Madrid. It was an easy thing to miss coming in from Australia, but they're not gonna miss this. They're gonna know, and they're gonna start asking questions, and there's no escaping it. Uh, Rio is a developing city. There's no way of escaping that. That this is here, and just because they're in Rio de Janeiro, we're part of a universal church, we're part of a global society, if my brother or sister in Rio de Janeiro is suffering, then I'm suffering, and I have a responsibility um, to do something about that. Rio 2013 will take place during Pope Benedict's Year of Faith and the celebrations of the 50th anniversary of the opening of the Second Vatican Council. These young people don't know the documents of Vatican II, so here's a chance to share that with them and the, the wealth and the beauty of that Second Vatican Council and what came from that. My hope is that our young people come home saying, I have a responsibility wherever I am working to proclaim Christ in my faith. And I don't mean that by standing on a you know, soapbox and waving a Bible, but by living the qualities of the gospel we're called to live. <laughs>